remember that the Sedition Act was made by the British in 1948. They passed this law to control and silence the Malaysian people. That was the purpose. And that is what now the Amno Barisan National Government is trying to do with this aggressive series of fresh charges which we have seen. Uh, so we need to remind ourselves that this was the law that the British brought and which the Amno Barisan National is happy to use against his own people. Um, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Najib, was obviously dishonest uh, when he said in his Malaysia Day speech, September 16, 2011, when he said he would repeal the Sedition Act and repeated it again in 2012. And uh, I would also like to say here that Kairi Damaludin was also dishonest in trying to explain these charges by saying, oh, uh, there are no other laws for the time being and we have to use these laws. Uh, these laws, uh, in other words, Kairi was intellectually dishonest by refusing to recognize that what Najib had recognized, the law is a draconian, obnoxious colonial law. And that's why it has to be repealed. And Kairi's uh, dishonest and uh, pathetic justification uh, does not wash. It is clear that the current charges are an attempt to intimidate uh, Pakatanai uh, leaders and MPs. And, um, from the response we are going to make, it is clear also to, uh, that this will not work. Uh, this, this, uh, this also reflects uh, basically an insecure government, an insecure Prime Minister and uh, uh, the people of, of Malaysia uh, need to be aware of this and we will uh, make the right make the appropriate response to fight this uh, all the way.